Welcome back, brave souls, to Sinister Snapshots, where nightmares come to life and darkness lurks. Let's find out how the love story between La Llorona and her rancher ends in a tragic haunting tale. Kindly leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our dark adventures. The movie begins in Mexico in the year 1673 as two young boys give their mother a pendant as a gift. The family dances happily together, holding hands. However, the youngest boy opens his eyes to discover that everyone has disappeared. He searches for his mother and brother but witnesses a horrifying sight. His mother is drowning his brother in the river. Terrified, the little boy tries to flee but his mother catches him and takes him to the river as well. In Los Angeles, 1973, social worker Anna Tate Garcia prepares her kids Chris and Sam for school but they miss the bus. At work, she overhears her boss asking a co-worker to check on the Alvarez family, whom Anna personally knows. The two boys, Tomas and Carlos, have been missing from school. Anna convinces her boss to let her handle the case. Anna, accompanied by Officer Claro, visits the Alvarez home where they find the mother, Patricia, reluctant to let them in. Anna hears a sound like a woman crying and suspects something is amiss. Despite Patricia's resistance, Anna goes in to find a home filled with lit candles and strange writings. She opens a closet to discover Tomas and Carlos inside. They are taken to a hospital, revealing burn marks on their wrists. Back at home, Anna struggles emotionally as a widow whose husband was killed in the line of duty. Later that night, Carlos hears a woman sobbing and wakes up. He tries to wake Tomas, but his brother doesn't respond. A short while later, Carlos follows Tomas into the hallway where he points to something in the mirror. When Carlos turns around, he comes face to face with the terrifying figure, La Llorena. Detective Cooper calls Anna to the hospital where they discover the bodies of Tomas and Carlos in a nearby river. Anna takes her children with her to the scene of the crime and she instructs her kids not to leave the car. Patricia blames Anna for her children's deaths claiming she was trying to protect them from La Urena. Meanwhile, Chris, Anna's son, leaves the car and goes to the river but encounters La Urena herself. She burns his arm and chases him to the car but Anna shows up just in time to save him and his sister Sam. The next day, Anna visits the Alvarez's home and witnesses a cleansing ritual being performed to ward off evil spirits. She meets Father Perez who explains the situation to her. Anna asks about La Urena and Father Perez tells her the haunting backstory. La Llorena was once a beautiful woman who fell in love with a rancher. They had two sons, but when she discovered her husband's infidelity, she drowned their children in a fit of rage and sorrow. Overwhelmed with guilt, she took her own life, but was denied entry into the afterlife due to her heinous actions. Later that day, Sam goes outside near the pool with an umbrella. She catches a glimpse of La Llorena through the transparent umbrella and she drops the umbrella in fear. The wind takes the umbrella to the edge of the pool and Sam goes to pick it up. She's then attacked by the vengeful spirit, leaving her arm burned. Anna returns and sees the burn marks and asks Sam about it, but she lies that she fell. That night, while going through the Alvarez case file, Anna hears a noise and subsequently catches a glimpse of La Urena, prompting her to scream. The kids come in and Anna invites them to sleep in her room. After visiting Patricia in prison the next morning, Anna is disturbed by her angry belief that Anna caused her boys' death. Patricia confesses to praying to La Urena for revenge, asking her to take Anna's kids in exchange for her own. In Anna's home, after hearing a sound in Sam's room, Chris goes to check and ends up seeing La Urena who throws him down the stairs. Anna then enters and rushes her son to the hospital. The doctor, who is alarmed by the injuries and burn marks, calls child services. That night, Cooper and Donna visit Anna's house due to their suspicions about the kids' burns. The children explain that it wasn't their mother who hurt them. Later, Chris reveals to Anna that he heard La Urena in Sam's room. Anna and Chris hear Sam's screams from the bathroom where she is taking a bath. When they rush to check, they find La Urena attempting to drown Sam in the bathtub. They manage to save Sam, but La Urena burns Anna's arm leaving her terrified by the sight of the vengeful spirit's face with her bloody tears. Anna seeks help from Father Perez, who refers to him to Rafael Overa, a former priest. He refuses to help at first, 
but reluctantly agrees to assist him after Sam's plea for help. Raphael discerns that La Llorena is a powerful evil entity and warns that even if they move out, it will follow them wherever they go. Raphael stays with the family to protect them from La Llorena. When the spirit attacks, he uses her tears as an anti-venom, but La Llorena overpowers them. Raphael manages to throw her tears back at her, burning her and forcing her out of the house. He spreads special seeds from the fire tree to block her re-entry through the front door, but Sam accidentally breaks the seed line with her doll, allowing La Llorena to snatch her. They rush to the pool, where La Llorena is attempting to drown Sam. Anna jumps in to save her, but La Llorena attacks her. Raphael blesses the pool with the fire tree seeds, turning the water holy and forcing La Llorena out. Anna emerges from the pool with Sam and La Llorena's pendant. After the confrontation with La Llorena, a desperate Patricia arrives at Anna's house with a gun, intent on offering Anna's kids to the demon. Patricia shoots Raphael in the process. Patricia calls out La Llorena and breaks the sea line again. La Llorena reappears inside the house and Chris and Sam escape to the attic to hide. Despite their attempts to keep her out, La Llorena makes her way upstairs. Chris shows a dependent he took from his mother, momentarily causing her to appear human again. At that moment, Sam accidentally reveals a mirror and La Llorena sees her demonic reflection causing her to wail in anguish. Patricia has a change of heart then and allows Anna and Raphael to join the kids in the attic to face La Llorena. Raphael tries to hold her off with a cross but she overpowers him. Anna runs to her kids and shields them with her body. When La Llorena moves to them, Raphael throws the cross to Anna. Anna takes the cross and stabs La Llorena in the chest, destroying the evil spirit. The next morning, Raphael says goodbye to the family and Chris and Sam happily return back into the house to play. Anna notices what appears to be a puddle of tears on the sidewalk. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't get left behind when we embark on our next frightful tale.